kakosh kalabala kete bara e gado shakat halabala kete bara ude e gado shakat ha But specifically in verse 31, he says, But they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall walk up with wings like the eagles. So to build up spiritual giants and high flyers, we need the wings of the eagles. The Spirit of the Lord revealed unto me the eagles' dimension of the power of God. And that power has been made available for this dispensation. The power has been made available in this dispensation. Today I will categorize three categories, three classes of people in the kingdom. They that wait upon them shall not fall with wings as the eagles. They shall run and not be free. They shall walk and not be So there are three categories of people in the kingdom. We have the flyers, right? The first category of people. They are the runners in this kingdom. That's another category. And the last category of people in this kingdom are the workers. The flyers. The runners and the workers. But what is so unique about the eagles is that the eagle can manifest in these three different dimensions of kingdom citizens. There are some animals that can walk but cannot run. Some animals can walk and run but they cannot fly. I saw the in death looking at the animal kingdom, the mystery of lions. The mystery of lions is very wonderful. But one thing that the lions cannot do is that they cannot fly. The place they pass is a generation of eagles in this dispensation. The eagles can walk, the eagles can run. And the eagles can fly by engaging the power of our wings. So what is so unique about the eagles, which is peculiar to citizens of Jesse and Nata, is that they can swap by engaging the wings, the power of the wings. Eagles can swap from afar, and they can engage the power of their wings to swap. Eagles possess great vision, great focus, and receive direction into every atmosphere in this physical realm. So spiritual eagles can penetrate every atmosphere in the realm of the spirit by engaging spiritual ways made available to them. Remember Jesus at his baptism, the spirit of the Lord descended upon him. Like the door, the spirit is not a door. The dimension of the spirit that came upon Jesus at the baptism is like a door. So that manifestation of the spirit looks like the third dimension and it will belong to the class of birds. So the way is so unique and it's one of the dimensions of the spirit of God that is made available for us by virtue of this example. Something really amazing in this verse. It says, For they that wait upon the Lord, they that wait upon the Lord, there is a mystery called waiting. There is a mystery called waiting. We have to wait upon the Lord, not upon man. There is a difference between waiting before the Lord and waiting Many people are waiting before the Lord, but only few people are waiting upon the Lord. You have to wait 
to as you are moving from one realm in this atmosphere to another realm, you have to increase in capacity in strength. You increase in strength as you move from one realm to another realm because the challenges ahead is greater than the challenges now. We need strength to overcome battles in this kingdom. They are waiting. They shall mount up with wings as the eagles. Another principle here is the principle of months. The principle of months. Month is one of the phenomena used by yet to renew their strength. And mounting is simply means removing the old wings and growing the new wings. Mounting process is not a case though. Which 
o código para esse foco cheio. God cannot use you if he cannot change you. You have to be changed for the business of the kingdom. Before you can do the business of the kingdom, you have to be trained for the transaction of the kingdom. Before you can engage yourself in the transaction of the kingdom. If God cannot train you, then he cannot use you. The Almighty God is scared in it and it is the evil. God is scared in it and it is the baby evil which are the evilness. So in this kingdom, God is scared in it to release us, to train us. And the scared will always come with discomfort. Suppose we are soldiers of Christ, we are ambassadors in this city. There is a difference between a soldier and a policeman. The training of a soldier is different from the training of a policeman. We are not mobile police in this kingdom, we are soldiers of Christ. We are spiritual soldiers of Christ. And one of the mysteries that is in operation. In the military, the principle of evil, which is the principle of evil. The evil has great power of courage and boldness. The people of James Eckhart have need courage and boldness. We need courage and boldness to press forward. We need courage and boldness. To press forward, to shoot up in the days of adversity. In the days of little things, little beginning, little motivation, we need courage and boldness to press forward. One of the secrets of great men in the universe is courage and boldness. That great men in this world are not afraid of the world system is a fallacy. As you are afraid of the world system, great men in the universe are also afraid. But they have one thing which is called courage and boldness. If we can only have that, great men can't have a real success.
The reason why many of us are failures is because we fail to receive training. It takes meekness to receive training. As it takes meekness in the physical realm, it takes meekness in the spirit realm to receive training. For the things of the spirit, But we can only receive the training if we are meek enough to receive it. And there is a grace that has been made available to us. The grace to press on. The grace to keep going. The grace to experience the quantum shifts in every aspect of our life. That is why I put support talking about it from glory to glory. Different dimensions of God's grace, from grace to grace. The grace is the same. But much I move from grace to grace based on the dimension of grace you are capable of manifesting by time. For by grace are you seen through faith. So the energy that hide the grace in your faith and faith is a spiritual hard work. Faith is a spiritual hard work. Faith is a physical hard work. Faith is a psychological hard work. So it is spiritual hard work. It is physical hard work and psychological. But it will definitely affect your mind and your body. So it emanates from your created spirit man and permeates your mind and affects your body because your body will also demonstrate the face. So as you demonstrate the face, you will increase from grace to grace. Without of faith, you cannot increase in grace. The grace is not shit. You activate it by faith. So you can only get the kingdom grace by activating the kingdom faith through the word of God. Because faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. So you need revelation knowledge and the right of this revelation knowledge. To build up faith in you, it takes revelation knowledge and the application of revelation knowledge to build up faith in you. What is so unique about the ego is that the egos have knowledge about the world system and the world system of The eagles have knowledge about the animal kingdom and how the animal kingdom of praise. Do you know that an eagle can kill a python? An eagle can kill a big snake. A big snake that, is, that can swallow some big animal in the forest. A big python that can swallow an arena. So So we need knowledge in this kingdom, revelation knowledge, the right knowledge and the right application. The right application of that knowledge. So that we can run without fatigue in this kingdom. Hello, Madonna.
I see. So in case the cancer will need perseverance to fly as I see and sustain that flight. Many birds can fly as I see but cannot sustain that flight. Many birds can project so the level of the high or the two, but cannot sustain that flight. So for us to sustain the flight, we need perseverance. The transformed race, we need perseverance to sustain that flight. When things get tall, the tall gets going. So you have to be tall for the business of the people. Because life is not come here, life is really working. And for us to overcome, we must be warriors in the spirit realm. The mandate of our Lord Jesus Christ to the church is for all the members of the church to become generous in this world. Not the selected few. He said, the things I have done, you shall also do. And greater things than this shall you do. Greater things than this. So we shall do greater things in the spirit realm and in the physical realm. Because every physical reality is as a result of spiritual manipulation. So if you can manipulate in the spirit realm, you will manifest them in the physical realm. But say that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weak. They shall walk and not faint. So for you not to be weary and not faint in this kingdom, you need to engage the mystery of personal devotion. Trace and cancer, we need that mystery, the mystery of personal devotion. The process of spiritual mountain is called pastoral devotion. So if you do go for personal devotion, personal revival, we take few months in order to take up a new flight. So if you cannot wait in your secret place, you cannot have the inheritance of the kingdom. Neither can you manifest the inheritance of the kingdom. Personal devotion is You just stay in the place and increase the knowledge of God. Personal devotion is all the compassion. Because if you do restrict personal devotion to prayer and fasting alone. I want you to know and know right now that studying the word of God for a long period of time is personal devotion. Studying the word of God for a long period of time is personal devotion. As you are studying, you are fasting. As you are fasting, you are praying. Then your personal devotion is complete. You minister to the Lord in the spirit. Then your personal devotion is complete. The Hebrews also understand the law of time and season. The law of time and season. And of the men of Israel who had the understanding of time and season. So the kingdom of Christ, the kingdom of spiritual disasters, has an understanding of time and season. In the spirit realm there is no time, but in the physical realm there is time. In the spirit realm there is no limits, no limitation. But in the physical realm there are limitations. But you can break this limitation by your own. Jesus in his ministry performed all these wonders, all these signs 
award as miracles, as a man, not as God. His divine nature was present in him, but it was working by getting the human nature and the ministry of the Holy Spirit. So throughout the face of the earth, throughout his ministry of earth, he worked as a man. He was able to perform wonders by the Spirit of God resting upon him. But after his resurrection, we see Jesus moving, appearing and disappearing, no more limitation. Passing through walls, he even ascended all night and told the events. Without the help of any external power, the age of this. So understanding the law, time and season is very important. You can pray for something and God will activate it in the realm of the spirits. But it may take time to manifest it in the desire. But you know we're supposed to be at times to pray for a particular thing and God will answer you immediately. And that is why we must understand the mysteries of the fathers. Writing and applying on the Father's things. For you to attain some height in life, you need the wings of the Father's. You must be carried by the Father's. And trace the fact that it's a living witness of that. So by the help of God, and through the help of Pastor Anita, we are able to launch out this example. One thing about the eagles is that the eagles always ride on the wings of the eagle. So in this kingdom, we must ride on the wings of, of Christ. For there are patterns on it. There are patterns on it. And those patterns are to serve those purposes. They have spiritual wings that can carry that can carry young men and young women in Christ so that we can project to that realm. A journey that will take you 1,000 years. A prayer that can project you to that realm within 24 hours. A journey that will take you 365 days. A prayer that can project you to that realm. So the Topia Jesus, in that of Apostle chapter 8, he disappeared from him. And he appeared in another region called Azotus. He appeared, he was carried by the Spirit of God. And he appeared in another region called Azotus. And he preached the gospel from Azotus to this area.
But when I convert them from chicken to eggless, and train them to become eagles, by different dimensions of tissue, that will be coming from the movies. Through the inspiration and the mystery of the Holy Spirit. Oh, 
will now be one of God. <laughs> Nobody lay hands on me to speak in tongues. As I was reading my vision, I caught that. I entered into that room and I began to speak in tongues. No one taught me how to speak in tongues. I did not see the passage. I was just studying the word and I started speaking in tongues. So the word of God can take you to any realm. The word can take you to any dimension of power. The word can take you to any atmosphere of manifestation in this kingdom. So there are three that are the other things in the realm of the spirit. The Father, the Word of God, and the Spirit of God. So we are going to teach the Word in Revelation of the Christ. Point number three, the Holy Spirit. That is the third pillar. The Holy Spirit, which is the Spirit of God, as well as the Spirit of Christ himself. Many people see faith to understand the mystery of the Godhead. People who say, how can we have one God manifesting as three different forces? Yes, it's true. As I am, I am the husband of my wife. I am a son of my parents. And I am the father of my children. So I'm still one person. <laughs> that is the history of Jesus. So the way I will relate with my wife will be different from the way I will relate with my son. It will be different from the way I will relate with my parents. There are some things my parents will do. Although those things are wrong, I will still make them. I will be the one making them for their own deeds. There are some things my wife will do and I will overlook. But when children do that, I will want to be saved. So I'm still the same person. So in the realm of the spirit, God will relate like that. And the dimension of God you know with the having what you will receive at time. So in the old dispensation, people are limited to the dimension of God the Father. In the gospel, which is the ladder between the old dispensation and the new dispensation, people are limited to God the Lord made manifest in the flesh. But in this current dispensation, we are operating in the dimension of the spirit. The dispensation of the spirit of God. And man cannot do nothing. Man can do nothing without the spirit. Another pillar here is miracle signs and wonders. Walking in the miracles. You see signs and wonders beyond people falling down. I don't know why I have issues with people falling down. I don't like it. I want people to sit down in the chair and rise rather than falling down. Let the message be sent forth and let people rise from their wishing. Let amputated men shoot out. Let the blind see. Let the lame walk. Walking in the miracles. You shall see it in this ministry. The fifth pillar is the secret place. I've talked about the secret place under the mystery of the Hebrews. But that is just a fragment about the mystery of the Hebrews. It's just a fragment. We need the secret place. But many people pay to understand the mystery of the secret place. He says, the son is said, David, he that dwelleth in the secret place of the most side shall abide under the shadow of the Christ. Do you know that the secret place is beyond staying in the room and locking up yourself in the room? <laughs> you can be playing with God and still be in your secret place. <laughs> secret place is communicating with the Holy Spirit. Secret place is not like a 
and say, hey, no, I don't have a job for 20 times. No. This is beyond secret place. That is our secret place. Secret place is beyond that. So many people believe that they must have altar in their room. Altar must be in their room. <laughs> and they come to God without altar. But have you forgotten that your body is the temple of God and the spirit of God dwells in <laughs> So everything in the old dispensation is a shadow of the realities in the new dispensation. Moses built a tabernacle for God. Solomon built a temple for God. So both tabernacle and temple represent the new man, which is the mystery of man. So in this dispensation, God is not limited to a temple. The temple we are talking about is man. Man is a spiritual pillar. Peter was addressed as one of the pillars of the church. So we are the temple carrying God. Every believer is a walking God on earth. That does not make him a God. But you are made for a walking God on earth. So the kingdom of Christ is the kingdom of God and goddesses. No other God can challenge you because you carry the place on your inside. That is your secret place. So you can be talking to me and be communicating with the spirit without speaking out. That is your secret place. You can be chanting in the spirit right from your inner man without speaking out. That is your secret place. This stupid is soaked with anointing. But the anointing of this stupid is a fragrance of the anointing that you carry. Because the fragrance of anointing on this stupid is just a little So there is a difference between the anointer and the anointing. Our God anointed Jesus Christ of Nazareth with Holy Ghost and with power. So the source of the power is the Holy Ghost. But the anointing is produced by the Holy Ghost. Our God anointed Jesus with the Holy Ghost and with power. So the Holy Ghost is the source of the anointing. The Holy Ghost is not the anointing. So if you are tapping anointing, you are only tapping a dimension of the Holy Spirit that is present in it because there are many dimensions of the anointing. In the temples of the Holy Spirit, there are different dimensions. The dove dimension, the wind dimension, the fire dimension, the light dimension. These are different dimensions of the Holy Spirit. The corner dimension of the Holy Spirit. The water So the dimensions of the Holy Spirit are uncountable. So if I carry the anointing to heal the sick, therefore I carry the anointing to heal malaria. And you lay down before me, you need to anoint. So when I lay hands on you, I only heal malaria. <laughs> so if you now meet someone that is having cancer, it will be difficult for you to heal the house. <laughs> That is the mystery behind the anointing. But if you carry the anointing, you can produce the anointing to do exploits in every facet of life. So the secret place is your inner man, the eating man of the earth. Apostle Peter called it the eating man of the earth. That is the secret place. The sixth pillar is vision. Vision. And all these pillars are connected to the seven dimensions of the spirit of the Lord. All these pillars are connected to the seven dimensions of the spirit of God. Prophet Isaiah and Isaiah chapter 11, verse 2, mention the seven dimensions of the spirit of God. The spirit of the Lord God, the spirit of wisdom and understanding, the spirit of counsel and 
that currency. You should be able to spend your time for God. You send it. Because it's a currency, you give it and you spend it. So there is a difference between giving your time and spending your time for God. Many people are giving their time, but they are not spending their time. So if you are present in the kingdom and you are doing nothing for the kingdom, you are giving your time. But when you are doing something that can bring about kingdom advancing, then you are spending your time for the kingdom. So there are different. So you should be able to spend your time for the kingdom. Your time must come to this kingdom. Not just come to the kingdom and sit down. You come to Jawa's program and sit down. And at the end of the program, you just sit. So there is nothing you are doing for the kingdom. Secrets. Uh, you are just giving your time, you are not spending it. Because time is not for us. You need your talent, you have to discover your talent. So Trace Center will create a platform for you to discover your talent and use the talent for the advancement of the kingdom. The kingdom is advancing every day. We are moving from one level of advancement to another level of advancement. You cannot compare the manifestation of Christian faith in the 15th century with 21st century. Entertainment has entered into the church. Kingdom entertainment. And there are different departments in the church. There are different facets of the kingdom. Where you can manifest your talents. There is no one in this kingdom without the talents. If you think you are without a talent, you are deceiving yourself. There is a limited talent in you that you can use for the kingdom and the kingdom will close up. There is a particular talent in you that you can use for the kingdom and the kingdom will close up. The talent may look so small in your own sight. It may look so tiny. But by the time you begin to engage that talent, you will get results. Talent in this kingdom is not only limited to the manifestation in the fivefold ministries. Because the problem in this dispensation is that everybody wants to become a teacher of the gospel. Everyone wants to be seen into the fivefold ministry. You see someone who is a music minister. Within few two years, it will become an abuse. <laughs> and we will be the of it. You see someone who is an usher, ushering the party. Within three years, few years, it will become an abuse. And we will be the remedy. When people hear new things, God is remedy. But you can do well in your music ministry. You can do well in your music ministry if you be called for the music ministry. You can do well in your ocean departments if that is your point. So Jesus Santa will help you to discover your talents. For you in this kingdom where you can discover your talent and manifest that talent. But it takes discipline to do that. It takes discipline on your parts to use your talents and your time and your treasures for God. So treasures also very important. And treasures is not only limited to money. Treasures is not only limited to money. 
to finance. Treasures include material things, physical things, and spiritual ways in you. There is a spiritual treasure in you that will attract the physical treasures. There is a particular spiritual treasure in you that will attract the physical treasure. Every believer is carrying a spiritual atmosphere, a particular spiritual atmosphere that can bless other men. So that the spiritual atmosphere you are carrying, because you are a temple of this. If you have the spirit of God, you have that atmosphere. There is a particular unique atmosphere you that can attract for the kingdom. This atmosphere can attract material ways, material treasures for the kingdom. I was reading the books of Daniel Robbins about impact in ministry, exploits in ministry. And he says, the problem with this current dispensation is that we think that we need money to expand the kingdom, to start the business of the kingdom. Many believers think that they need money to start the business of the kingdom. Many believers are thinking that they need money to launch out their ministry, whether they are music ministers or they are preachers. Fishers of the world, whichever ministry God has called you to. But what you need first is the spiritual treasure. The hidden treasures in you is what they attract the material treasures. People are ready to give their materials to you. If you have the treasures in you to deliver, if you have what it takes to deliver, people will give resources to you. They are ready to spend on you. And finally, the last thing that is fish. Trace a cancer is a kingdom of visionaries. This is a kingdom of visionaries. We are going to raise leaders in every appearance of life, in every person. In every sphere of life, leaders that will take over kingdoms, visionary. People want to be in a civilized environment to see opportunities. Not knowing that you can see opportunities where you are. You can attract opportunities where you are. You can stay in Zion and attract great opportunities that someone in America is making use of. You can stay in a village and attract opportunities. So the mystery of the kingdom is beyond location. What matters most in this kingdom is our location. Not location, not the relocation. Many people want to relocate. And by the time they relocate, they still notice that the problem is still there. So, what you need to overcome the battles of life is divine allocation, not relocation, not relocation. You don't have to relocate. Except you receive divine instruction to relocate. Then you can relocate. So the visionaries, the visionaries can see opportunities around them. They can see opportunities where there is no opportunities. They can see opportunities in the desert and convert the desert to a fruitful land. And from a fruitful land to a forest. So they can produce forests of resources. I want to make you to be angry on your inside. I want to 
ciego. So that we begin to take a flight as we manage these problems. Building up spiritual giants and high flyers that we take over all the territories of the universe by engaging the fundamental practical principles of resilience. This is the mandate delivered. So that is the declaration of the mandate. And the ball is in our course to start working for the advancement of the kingdom. This is not a permanent sense. We are still going to relocate this when it is done. But this is the waiting grant. This is our mountain grant. So we are going to experience the spiritual mountain and exercise this year. Our waiting realm is here. We are going to wait. But as we are waiting, we are doing something. Because the mystery of waiting doesn't mean stay alone or doing something. Waiting is different from idleness. Waiting means actively engaging yourself in the business of the kingdom as a means of preparation for the higher glory. So this is our preparation grant for the higher glow and for the highest glow. And the process of waiting is very difficult. In fact, more difficult than the manifestation of the glory ahead. Because what the way it does is that it will prepare you and make you to gather momentum. Momentum, capacity, so that you can go with that higher and higher skill. There are some atmosphere when you enter without preparation, you cannot go. We just have to see that. And that is why many people cannot go today. They are out of space in science. And they are out of space around us. But are we prepared for this opportunity? Are we ready to grab these opportunities? If you are prepared, then you will grab it. The principle of wisdom will make for us of that. So the mandate has been delivered, and you must be ready for the business of the kingdom. You must be ready to advance the kingdom. Be ready for the business of the kingdom. In building disciples, in gathering disciples, in inviting disciples, in mentorship, you engage in the business with your time, your talent, and treasures. And you get the future. You ready? You ready?
the media and certain third party, finance, public relations, cancel the party, or prayer band, which are the watchmen, the prayer band. The sanctuary decorators, we need them in this kingdom. Medical team, they are all for the One of the key we are going to use to expand this kingdom is called Run for the Bible. Sometimes, on Saturday or Sunday, we just run for the Bible. We put on our beds and run for the Bible and walk around the Saturday and walk around the Saturday. Run for the Bible. F is another department. Publish the department. Publish the department. Apart from preaching the gospel, they publish the past and we convert the messages to books. We need talents that are right books. We need scribes in this kingdom. Kingdom scribes that are right for the kingdom. Drama of our primary the evangelism. The evangelism group and the mission. So these are the different departments. So we must play our parts in this kingdom and bring people that will function in these different departments for the sake of the kingdom.